Hey there, it's Tom Romeo from PCS. I want to go through with you how to set up an SMTP server on a Windows server. Now, I will warn you right up front that this is an Azure VM and Microsoft has blocked the outgoing SMTP ports. So the email is not actually going to leave this box, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm in my um, server manager and I'm going to select roles and features. And basically it's going to be two features that I'm going to set up SMTP server and then the Telnet client. Now, if you were on a Windows 10 PC, you would do the exact same thing, but you would do it from the control panel. You would just turn on uh, Windows features. Okay, so there I've selected the SMTP server and the Telnet server service. Uh, Telnet client, I'm sorry. And now I'm going to click next, and then I'm going to put up the time and go away for a little while, come back when it's done. So you're going to see it going. And the server did not reboot during this whole process. So here we go. I'm going to put up the time. And then uh, we're going to come back to it. But I mean, you're not going to see any of that in this video because, you know, I'm trying to be nice. So there it is. You see how it's installing. And now I'm going to broadcast the time. And then you'll see the time changed drastically, right? And that's because it's done. And, you know, I was doing something else at the time. Okay, so step one is done. It's installed. Now we have to configure. And to configure the SMTP server service is really not that hard. Um, we go to the IIS 6 manager. And then um, right click on that server. Get the properties and there are a few settings we're going to change and then we're good to go now interestingly enough i have set this up in the past on other servers but they were before 2017 before they imposed these changes now i'm going to change the tcp port to 587 it's really not going to make any difference it's still not going to work but um that is a common port that's used. See, I'm leaving it as anonymous, right? Uh, I'm not using a certificate. And connections, you'll see that's going to be set as the default as well, right? All except the list below, which means everybody. Okay, now here's the change we're going to make. On the relay, instead of only the list below, I'm going to say, all except the list below, which means everybody. Okay. Messages. Um, I may in the future uncheck some of those boxes, but I'm just going through each tab. You see, I'm not really changing anything. I'm going to change the port here. And in the advanced tab, we're going to look at the DNS. You see, it's just the server name, and we just accepted whatever it was there. So basically I made one change. Well, three changes. I changed the port and I changed it for the outbound and that's it. So now I'm going to open up a command prompt and load Telnet. And uh, this is real simple and I'll put the commands in the YouTube channel uh, under the comments. So Telnet and then my local host and then the port 587. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to type is E-H-L-O, and that shows me that I'm there. Mail from, I'm going to say it's coming from my Hotmail. And this is probably why uh, Microsoft is blocking this, because, you know, you could spin one of these things up and spam people, and they don't want you to do that. And I get it. Receipt, I'm going to send it to my Gmail. Okay. Then I'm going to put in data, and the first line I type is going to be the subject line. And then when you press enter, the next line is going to be the body. And then press enter and hit the period, and that ends the message. And you see it says it's queued. Now if I go to the local computer and inetpub mail root, 
in the queue, there's the message. And that's it. That's the whole setup. Now, if the port was not blocked by Microsoft, uh, we would be able to uh, send that message out into the real world. Thanks for watching. And remember, you can download all of our software from our website.